Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Deep Blue Sea 2, starring Rob Mays, Danielle Savre, forgive me if I said that wrong, and Michael Beach, and directed by Darren Scott. Funny, same name as me. Now, before I get into the movie, I must ask this question straight up. Why do a sequel to Deep Blue Sea for almost 20 years? Really? Do we need another Deep Blue Sea movie? I don't know. It's it's going to make me crazy, but let's just get into it. We start the movie off with two guys in an illegal station picking sharks' fins off, and which tells me these two guys are absolutely fucking cruel. And my problem is, after they do that, they take a selfie and they act like two of those... They, do, they kill, like... Two sharks with the fins. And after they do that, they take a selfie and they act like two of the biggest dumb shits. And a group, with, until a group of sharks kills those two motherfuckers up. And when we see the sharks underwater, it looked really fake. But it's a video sequel, so of course it's going to be looking a lot worse. The only thing I did like was when the owners of those sharks call them back to their station with the push of a button. But later in the film... Then that's what happens later in the film. They're going to, to shit all of that away. I'm just going to say it now. Excuse me. I have to say, the writing is a lot worse, and I don't care for any of these fucking characters. For example, Misty Calhoun, played by Denier Sevre, forgive me if I said that wrong, who's a swimmer and loves sharks and not a hater or a hunter, and she bugged the hell out of me in this movie. Trent Slater, played by Rob Mayes, is a wannabe Thomas Jane. In the last movie, is another dumb fucking character that I really hated in this movie. Who works for a Carl Durant, played by Michael Beach. Which, I gotta confess this now, guys. He was the biggest asshole billionaire ever, and this character really annoyed the shit out of me. And I'll be glad. And I've seen in all the movies, and I really hate him here. And I'm glad he dies at the end of the movie. I prayed he would die throughout the ending of this movie. My first viewing of the movie, and which was the only thing I was happy with in both my viewings of this movie. Misty and Daniel and Leslie. Misty meets up with... Daniel and Leslie Kim, who arrive at Durant workstation called Achilles, which sounds a, like a stupid name, meaning up with Trent and Mr. Durant and their test subject of five sharks, including Bella, who's the pregnant shark, and Mr. Durant allows Aaron in the water with the shark as a test, as a bunch of bullshit thrown us at us at a as a plot, bad plot device. It turns out Mr. Durant drinks a drug that he thinks makes him smarter, but the audience believes it will make him a bigger asshole than ever by believing he made the sharks smarter. For the sharks to take the same drug makes absolutely no fucking sense to me. My biggest problem is I said earlier that Bella was pregnant and nobody knew about it. I mean, motherfucking really? Seriously? How the fuck do you check a shark every week and not know it's pregnant? Jesus Christ, this is a serious problem with this goddamn script. Even Bella almost ate Aaron's head off. I was like, my god, this script has so many problems. There was a nameless businessman I couldn't get the name of when the workstation is flooding after the sharks go ballistic. And I don't care if he lived or died by flooding underwater. Bella had her baby sharks and kills the nameless businessman, and I didn't give a shit. Mike's who's Mike, who's the one of the swimmers, had his head bit off, and his death I could care less uh, because I don't know. I didn't know that character too well, to be honest. Who's the first person getting eaten by the baby sharks? It's not Aaron, but Josh, who works in the station. Now, I honestly could care less about this shit, because, the, like Mike, funny, 
I don't know this fucking character as well, and I don't give a shit. Mr. Durant traps Misty, and she has to find another way out because Durant is... I've said it before, and I'll say it again, a complete asshole. And Trent is a Thomas Jane wannabe in this movie, and I don't care. I'm waiting for this movie to be over, and I've got 20 more minutes of movie left. Daniel witnesses Leslie getting eaten by Bella's baby sharks, and Leslie's face when she gets eaten by the sharks, and that scene was horrific. I liked how much that really freaked me out, but still, I could care less. Daniel gets eaten in half by the baby sharks of his death, and his death was pretty caring because he did absolutely nothing to deserve that, except for maybe lying to his wife at the time. But hey, baby sharks are hungry, but his death was pretty caring if you like that character. When the android goes for the remaining survivors, Misty, Trent, Aaron, and the careless Mr. Durant, and the shark jumps up to eat it, and it looked absolutely horrible, like it's unforgivable. Mr. Durant's death was probably the best death of this entire movie, and Misty, Trent, and Aaron are alive by the end of the movie, and nobody fucking cares. Let's just get to the rating. We know how bad this movie is, but how worse is it than the original? I'll give this movie a 1.2 out of 10. Worst movie ever made, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Even though it's a video sequel, I don't like the characters, the story is very weak, and I hate this godforsaken movie. Please don't watch this thing. If you're renting this on Redbox, please don't watch this. Honest to God, just stay away from it. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me in Deep Blue Sea, and I will be back next month with The Shallows? Yeah, The Shallows. And until next time, da-da-da. Da-da.